top of the morning. Welcome to another edition of Big Chronicle. It's Tuesday. Story time with your boy Bay. Right. your boy Bake and I got a juicy story for you. I thought I'd talk about a time when Bake got caught cheating or I wouldn't even call it cheating. I would just say trying to talk to multiple people at the same time. Y'all ready? Let's jump right into it, Nate. So your boy Bake was in middle school, y'all. Early days in my childhood, I used to get picked on so many times about my lips being so big, my head being so big. Like, I was just like the laugh of all jokes. The seventh and eighth grade, your boy started to, you know, come into his looks a little bit. Started to have a little what you call swagger. So, it was these three little shorties that your boy Bake had his eye on. Three of them, y'all. I'm not gonna disclose their name. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna throw out some random names. So, one of them was Tiffany, one of them was Keisha, and the other one was Relly Rail. So, your boy was interested in all three of them. I know that sounds really bad. But I was young. What you expect, Nate? I was talking to Tiffany for a little bit. You know, I had her feeling me a little Bit. I was sitting her little nice notes like, oh, you look pretty today. I was setting up dates, like some outings, because you know I couldn't really afford to go on dates. So we'll have lunch or whatnot. So having lunch some days, we playing tag. You know what you're doing, middle school. I heard through the grapevine that Rally Rare will start feeling your boy too. Rally Rare was fine too. That nice. All these women were cute. I had to be sneaky about it. Boy and Bake are talking to Rally Rail too. At both Tiffany and Rally Rail number, and I'm chopping it up with them. Chopping it up. You're doing with some like Mission Impossible 007 type thing. Secret lifestyle, you know, private eye. I'm trying to maintain a private lifestyle with both Rally Rail and Tiffany. A little birdie in the street. That same old little birdie told me that Keisha was also interested in me. Crazy part about it. This is a crazy part about it. All these girls was quote unquote supposed to be friends. So I'm talking to all three. I'm just trying to do the best I can. Be as private and secretive as possible. I'm gonna go to lunch with Tiffany on Tuesdays and chill with Rally Rail. On Thursdays and chill with Keisha on Friday. Like it was a schedule. It's like a job, y'all. Your boy made a mistake. Everything was going cool, smooth. Nobody knew a thing. Where I messed up, I used the L word. Not like, not lust, but the L O V E. Love. As a young kid, I didn't know how big that word was. I was just throwing it out there. Like, hey, girl, you know I love you. This is when all three of them told each other the same dang thing. Keisha ended up telling Rally Rail, and Rally Rail ended up telling Keisha, and Keisha and Rally Rail ended up telling Tiffany, Tiffany ended up telling Keisha and Rally Rail. I don't even know what your boy was thinking, Nate. I was tripping. So they confronted your boy, and off on your boy, all kind of names, and I deserved it. I go sit up in a lot, deserved it. I was just so caught up by being liked by beautiful women. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to choose just one. And I was young, so I thought I could talk to all of them. And I didn't think it was anything wrong. All of them dropped me like a dime. I was back to being solo, dolo. And I told myself, never again. But I try to talk to multiple people at the same time. So, the moral of the story, as you all should know, pick one. If you're just dating and you're just trying to enjoy their company, don't use no no L words. Don't use that word. You can say, I like you, attracted to you, but don't say, I love you, okay? From your boy, Nate, that's my message to y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. I enjoy telling you. Let me know what kind of stories y'all want to hear that you ain't heard before. We about to get up out of here. You can only change your mind one day at a time. Keep living your life to the fullest, man. I love y'all. See y'all this Wednesday for how to. Swag.